Hi guys, this is Shia back with another video on Easy Math. Okay, today is Tuesday, so we are going to learn about limits. Today we will learn about evaluation of limits. How to find the value of limits? In previous video, we learned about some series expansions and some indeterminate forms. This is the continuation of that. Now, first, there are eight indeterminate or meaningless forms. They are zero by zero, infinity by infinity. Infinity minus infinity, infinity into infinity, infinity into zero, zero power zero, infinity power zero, and last one power infinity. As you can see, these all are not determined. Okay, now there are some ways to find value of limits. First one is algebraic limits means using algebra just algebra limits of algorithmic forms they are also further subclassified into zero by zero form means if we take let's take this limit extends to a x power n minus a power n by x minus a if you substitute a you will get a power n minus a power n which is zero by a minus a which is zero zero by zero for solving the equations in the form 0 by 0, we have three methods. First one is factorization method, second one is rationalization method and using standard formulae. In our videos, first we will learn these two. Standard formulae we will learn after completing of this evaluation of limits. We will learn all the list of formulas. Okay, now factorization method, what is this? If you you may have solved quadratic equations and cubic equations. In those, you will solve by factorizing them into parts, dividing them into factors. Using that method to solve limits is called as factorization limit, factorization method. And rationalization method means in the chapter certs and indices, if we get nth root to solve that, we will use rationalization method. We will rationalize that with an rationalizing agent. The standard formula means we will use some standard formula like limit extends to x power n minus a power n by x minus a is equal to n into a power n minus 1. And in uh, algebraic limits, the second type is infinity type means in the form of infinity by infinity and infinity minus infinity. We will also solve this. There are some methods to solve this. We will see about them in next. Next, trigonometric limits means it will contain trigonometric identities and trigonometric ratios like cos, sine, tangent and logarithmic limits. In logarithmic limits, we will discuss about logarithms and how to find the value at that particular place or limit of that logarithm. Next, exponential limits means as the name tells, it is exponents. There are, there are two types based on series expansions we learned in previous video or based on definition of infinity and miscellaneous forms. Those are some different forms. We will see about them next. Now first definitions we have explained about factorization and rationalization before. Now let's see examples. First, first example is Evaluate limit x tends to 1, x square minus 3x plus 2 by x minus 1. Okay, if you substitute 1 here, it becomes 1 square minus 3 plus 2, which is nothing but 0. Denominator also becomes 0. So, it is in the form of 0 by 0. Now, we can use rationalization or factorization. Another thing is, if rationalization is only used if there are square roots, cube roots or nth roots. So, in this, we will use factorization. As you can see, x square minus 3x plus 2 is a quadratic equation. How to solve quadratic equation? Now here, multiply the first and the last terms. Means x square term and the constant term. It becomes 2x square. Now, we should divide 2x square into factors such that some of those factors will be this middle term or x term. Okay, if we multiply, we will get 2x square. How can we divide them which adds up to minus 3x? Okay, if we divide that as minus x and minus 2x, if we add them, it becomes minus 3x. 
So it will be divided as limit x tends to 1 x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 by x minus 1. Here if we take x common in x square minus 2x you will get x into x minus 2 minus 1 into x minus 2 by x minus 1. If we take x minus 2 common it becomes limit x tends to 1 x minus 2 into x minus 1 by x minus 1 x minus 1 and x minus 1 cancels out so it becomes limit x tends to 1 x minus 2 if we substitute this you will get 1 minus 2 which is nothing but minus 1 okay now let's see another example of rationalization okay here this is our example on rationalization here limit h tends to 0 not x h root x plus h minus root x by h now we should solve this okay another thing for solving this there is another method called as l hospitals rule but it is based on differentiation our the continuation of limits so we will discuss about that method in next chapter in next chapter okay now let's discuss about this limit h tends to 0 root x plus h minus root x by h is equal to now here root x plus h minus root x now we should rationalize it it is in the form of a minus b to rationalize it we can simply multiply with a plus b it becomes a square minus b square so this square root cancels out so if we multiply with this here this this is called as rationalizing factor root x plus h plus root x if we multiply it is in s a minus b into a plus b form if we multiply a square minus b square a square means x plus h minus b square square root cancel so it becomes x and in denominator h into root x plus h plus root x here nothing will be cancelled out okay you may ask here again you got square root terms how can we solve this okay you will understand that then it becomes limit h tends to 0 h by h into root x plus h plus root x here h h cancels out now here it is there is plus symbol in between them so if we get minus we will get zero so if we get plus we will not get zero so it become if we substitute zero in place of h it becomes one by root x plus zero plus root x which is nothing but one by two root x now let's see some examples on infinity form means infinity by infinity or infinity minus infinity first let's we should evaluate the limit x tends to infinity here not 0 x square plus 5 by x square plus 4x plus 3 okay for solving the problems on infinity there is there is one property of infinity we discussed in previous video it is a by infinity is equal to 0 where a is a real number so here to get that form we will divide numerator and denominator by x square why x square because here the highest power or the highest degree is 2 so x we should divide by x square then it will become x square plus 5 by x square by x square plus 4x plus 3 by x square now if we divide x square by x square becomes 1 becomes 1 and 5 by x square will be same then it will become limit x tends to infinity 1 plus 5 by x square by 1 plus 4 by x plus 3 by x square if we substitute infinity it becomes 1 plus 5 by infinity square by 1 plus 4 by infinity plus 3 by infinity square okay here by infinity is 0 so it becomes 1 plus 0 by 1 plus 0 plus 0 which is nothing but 1 let's see another example on infinity minus infinity as you can see this is an example on infinity minus infinity if you substitute x is equal to infinity here x becomes infinity root infinity square plus infinity which is infinity root infinity is infinity it is in the form of infinity minus infinity okay here there is square root means as we discussed before if you have nth roots we should use rationalization to rationalize it we should multiply the rationalizing factor with plus symbol in between these two terms x and root x square plus x if we multiply it is in a a minus b into a plus b which is a square minus b square 
x square it will be x square root x square plus x whole square root and square cancels out it becomes x square plus x by x plus root x square plus x now here root, root x square plus x if we take x square common it becomes x square if we take x square common from x square it will become 1 if we take x square common from x it will become 1 by x so it will be x plus x into root 1 plus 1 by x if we take x common here it becomes limit x tends to infinity minus x by x into 1 plus root 1 plus 1 by x now when x x cancels out it becomes minus 1 by 1 plus if we substitute infinity it becomes minus 1 by 1 plus root 1 plus 1 by infinity 1 by infinity is 0 so it becomes minus 1 by 1 plus root 1 plus 0 root 1 plus 0 means 1 1 plus 1 2 it will become minus 1 by 2 ok now trigonometrical limits what are trigonometrical limits and how to find the value of them for trigonometric limits there are some identities or some formulae they are the first one is limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is equal to 1 if, if there is a limit of x tends to 0 sin x by x it will be 1 there is no need to be sin x by x it may be of any form and from this we can get another formula that is sin ax by x is equal to a <laughs> limit x tends to 0 tan x by x will be 1 and here also the other thing is tan ax by x limit x tends to 0 tan ax by x is a and the next one is limit x tends to 0 sin inverse x by x is equal to 1 and limit x tends to 0 sin inverse a x by x is equal to 1. Here a is a real number. Limit x tends to 0 tan inverse x by x is 1. Limit x tends to 0 tan inverse a x by x is also a. And limit x tends to 0 sin x degrees by x means if x is mentioned in degrees or English system then it will become pi by 180 degrees. Because 1 radian is equal to pi by 180 degrees degrees and limit x tends to 0 cos x is 1 no need to remember this because cos 0 is 1 and limit x tends to 0 cos a is a and limit x tends to a here limit x tends to 0 cos a x is a ok you may think that but it is not it is also 1 and limit x tends to a sin x minus a by x minus a is 1 ok how is this possible you may ask it is simple if we send a to other side in the x tends to a it becomes x minus a tends to 0 so we will get same and if we multiply x, min x minus a in this sign term with any real number b, it becomes, the value becomes b. And limit x tends to a tan x minus a by x minus a is also. Let's see an example on trigonometry. Where the value of limit x tends to 0 sin phi cos square x by x square. Okay, in which form is this? If we apply x is equal to 0, it becomes pi into 0 sin 0 is 0 by 0. It is in this 0 by 0 form. Okay, now if we solve that here cos square x means 1 minus sin square x because cos square x plus sin square x is 1. Then it becomes sin pi into 1 minus sin square x. If I multiply with pi it becomes 1 into pi pi and sin square x into pi pi sin square x. Now here sin pi minus pi sin square x it is in the form of sin pi minus theta which is nothing but sin theta. So it becomes limit x tends to 0 sin pi sin square x by x square. Now here we should find the value of this. Now in limits we can multiply numerator and denominator with a particular number or with a particular constant or with a particular variable. You, it, the limit does not change. So it becomes limit x tends to 0. Here there is pi sin square x. So if we take that one as denominator, it becomes sin pi sin square x by sin square x into pi by 1 into 
sin square x by x square. Why you got pi by 1? Because we divided pi sin square x in the numerator into pi and sin square x. Now here we can write as limit pi sin square x tends to 0. How can we write that? If x tends to 0, if I substitute x in this it becomes x tends to 0. If we apply sin on both sides it becomes sin x tends to sin 0 which is nothing but 0. If we do square it becomes sin square x tends to 0. If we multiply with pi it becomes pi sin square x is equal tends to 0. Sin pi x sin square x by pi sin square x into pi remains same because limit of a constant is the constant. And it becomes limit x tends to 0 sin square x by x square. Okay, now here it becomes 1 pi sin square x tends to 0. It is in the form of limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta which is nothing but 1. And pi will be same and here it is in the form of sin x by x whole square which is 1 square 1. If we multiply those we will get the value of pi. Now let's see about logarithmic logarithmic limits in this section we will deal with problem based on expansion of logarithmic series which is log 1 plus x is equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus or plus and so on until infinity where minus 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1 it should be noted that expansion is only true with the base e to evaluate the logarithmic limit, we use limit x tends to 0 log 1 plus x by x is equal to 1. How is this possible? If we divide this with x, it becomes 1 minus x by 2 plus x squared by 3 plus and so on. And now if we take x tends to 0, the first one will become constant term because we divided with x. Remaining all becomes 0. So we will get 1. Let's take an example on logarithmic logarithmic limits. Okay, now here if we take the problem limit x tends to infinity x minus x square into log 1 plus x. Now here if you substitute infinity it becomes dif difficult form it becomes infinity minus infinity square into log 1 plus 1 by infinity it becomes log 1 it will be complete confusion and it is so much difficult. So we will take like x is equal to 1 by y. Then here x tends to infinity. If we substitute y it becomes y will become 1 by x. y tends to 0 means 1 by x tends to 0. It becomes limit y tends to 0 1, minus, 1 by y minus log 1 by y by y square. Now here if we take the LCM it becomes limit y tends to 0 y minus log 1 plus y by y square. And then here if we take the expansion of log 1 plus y it becomes limit y tends to 0 y minus in the brackets y minus y square by 2 plus y cube by 3 minus y power 4 by 4 and so on until infinity. There is no need to mention it. Now here y and y cancels out. So if you take y square from the remaining equation it becomes limit y tends to 0 y square into 1 by 2 minus y by 3 plus y square by 4 and so on until infinity. Now here y square and y square cancels out. Now here 1 by 2 remains same because it is a constant term remaining all will be zeros. So the value will be 1 by 2. Okay you may ask. Can't we solve this in an other way? Means by taking the same here if we take like log 1 plus y by y into 1 by y and then if we use the if we use the formula log 1 plus x by x limit x tends to 0 log 1 plus x by x is 1 then it becomes 1 by y minus 1 by y which is 0. So, we shouldn't do that. So, it is a wrong way to use that. 
Okay, these exponential limits are based on the series expansion e power x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus and so on until infinity. These are the following algorithms or the following formula to solve some of the exponential limits. They are limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x is equal to 1. And limit x tends to 0, a power x minus 1 by x is log a base e. Ok, now here we can prove this easily. e power x minus 1 means this one cancels out. And then with base x, with denominator x, if we divide it becomes 1 plus x by 2 factorial plus x square by 3 factorial and so on until infinity. If we substitute 0, it will become 1. And this one, there is another series expansion for this. You have seen this. It will be log a base e and the same series expansion in the bracket. If we do that, we will get log a base e as a constant. Ok, now a problem on exponential function. This is our last problem in this video. That is, evaluate the value of limit x tends to 0 e power tan x minus e power x by tan x minus x. You may ask, there is tan x so it becomes, it belongs to trigonometric it belongs to trigonometric part, but not. Here tan x is just because of the confusion and for testing how we will solve. Okay, it becomes limit x tends to 0 e power tan x minus e power x by tan x minus x. Then it will become, if we multiply with e power x and divide with e power x, if we divide the term e power tan x, as if we multiply that with e power x and divide with e power x, then the division part will get minus n. It will become e power tan x minus x minus e power x by tan x minus x. Here if we take e power x common, it becomes limit x tends to 0 e power x into e power tan x minus x minus 1 by tan x minus x. Okay, you may ask this common doubt. That is, how you got the idea? to divide and multiply with e power x because in base there is tan x minus x. So to get that form we will divide and multiply with e power x. Now here e power x if we substitute 0 and e power x it becomes e power 0 which is nothing but 1 and limit tan x minus x tends to 0. Why this? And here e power tan x minus x. So we took that. Then it will become e power tan x minus x by tan x minus x. This is in the form of e power x minus 1 by x, which is nothing but 1. So it becomes e power 0 into 1, which is 1. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon, it notifies you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video. In the next video on limits, we will discuss about some theorems like sandwich theorem and some other important theorems. Okay, bye. See you later.